Welcome back on Dynamod. Today I want to propose you a video about uh, how to create movement base for your own basis or miniatures. This is uh, a thing that uh, it's uh, a sort of cheap way to realize them, but I think that it's really quite interesting because it lets you make uh, two things at the same time, covering and preserving some boxes that uh, occupy a lot of space and uh, eventually want to throw away but you can recover and use in such a way and on another side it can help you to find a way to make the movement basis that you need for okay now there is not anymore such a problem because there are a lot of MDF bases that are available and I too realized them I realized a video that it's about them and it's the one about the Cromlech basis for example and you can find it in the description so it's really easy to find them but maybe you want to have some particular detail or so on. so this is a way to make you see a possibility that you can have about personalize also this part of your own army with the new boxes sometimes it's not so easy to find inspiration to do such type of way but it's anyway helpful so eventually think about trying on them if you before to take something more uh, we can say inspirational but eventually remember that uh, it's a way to make you see that you can apply to everything you can use uh, every type of uh, paper or thick paper or so on uh, or box that you need uh, if the image it's up to you decide what you need eventually you have to protect it with uh, some little strata of uh, vinylic glue or something like this uh, to prevent it that it is ruined or it uh, keeps too much dirty on it so it's really quite simple that part the part that i want to make you understand it's uh, how to realize such project and uh, how to have inspiration about but i have to admit that some of the old images for the box of the minotus that uh, you realized uh, they were really amazing you have only to see the one about the Saurus that I brought as an example. It's really amazing. And it was a way to compensate when you were removing the models that were dyed and these artwork were coming to the light. And so it was something like a bit of satisfaction to have really quite amazing. And here we can see the results, the final result that we obtain with this guide that it's the base movement that we need so when we put it on the field when we put the model on we cover it but step by step we can free it and as you can see we can decide which part the models put so that the imaging can make on site as we want the first step is to cut the part of the box that we need and to decide the part that we will go to cut to realize the image that we want. One thing that you have to remember when you cut the surface that you need is to make it a bit bigger than the one that you need because you need it to put on the lines, the ring around it. So pay attention to such a detail because it's important not to have mess when you do the translation. Then we have to take some spruce and we know for sure that we have some that remained and select the parts of the spruce that are the length that we need. So we have to pay this attention to the ones and then goes to cut them and polish them completely so that we have a clean profile to use. One thing that I suggest you to do is to paint the lines that you cut from the spruce and adjust them everything before to go to glue them on the surface that you've chosen so that you don't risk to ruin the surface with some colors and so on. And here we can see the difference between the square basis and the round basis. I prepared also a video that I'll put in the description about such thing. But remember that you have to adapt and create the basis based on your needing because it's important to make you distinguish which ones are the things that you need because the volumes and the models that you can put on it are quite different so pay attention to such detail and then i make you see the comparison with the cromlech basis so i make you compare the square basis on movement square basis the round basis on square movement basis and the round basis on 
movement basis based on round basis themselves so you can decide which one is better obviously the round basis in this case are not suited completely because the one that i'm using as a referring it's not prepared for them but it's really easy to prepare a base square base that it's useful for those ones to have it's up to you decide if to create something that it's your own and you personalize or having something that it's yet prepared and anyway you can combine in different ways so no problem at all in this case so from dino mode it's everything i invite you to put a like on this video to subscribe to the channel to ring the bell and to come and visit this video if you are interested in something about this video or you want to suggest me some arguments for other videos i hope to see you again to the next time